Hello everybody, this is Tekka. I've been sick for a couple days, so we're going to start off with something pretty mellow. We're going to be doing an application overview and review. Uh, big thank you to Pizza Loving Nerd for showing me this. This is Tangram. What this is, is a wonderful uh, kind of different web browser for Linux. Now the main purpose for this web browser is to run web applications. If we go ahead and just scroll down here and read there about Tangram is a new kind of web browser it is designed to organize and run your web applications. Each tab is persistent and independent. You can set multiple tabs with different accounts for the same application. And then here it has some common use cases and they include uh, setting up all your favorite communities in one spot, such as Macedon, Twitter, whatever you may be using. You can set all your different chat, app chat applications into the same thing, such as WhatsApp, Messenger, Telegram, Discord, whatever it may be. Uh, your group organization under one app or a one stop for multiple sources of documentation and information. Me, specifically, I think the best use case for this application would be if you're somebody with uh, multiple YouTube accounts or you manage both your personal and brand accounts and you just want one tool where it's really easy to go ahead and access those different accounts within one application. For example, if you have your own personal YouTube and you contribute, contribute to a business account of some sort, this would be a great tool to use. So this is on the Flathub repo, so you could go ahead and pull it there. And for the actual web back end, it uses the WebKit GTK, the web engine behind both uh, Tangram and GNOME Web. So being it's using WebKit GTK, if you're running on GNOME, it's actually gonna look beautiful. This is the application here. It is very simple. Uh, the point isn't to have a whole bunch of features. It does a couple different things and it does those things very well. Uh, I've been playing around with it a little bit. I set up some little web apps here. I have Twitter, Canvas for my school, Plausible, which is a wonderful analytics suite that I would recommend you go ahead and check out, and Discord. And overall, it is an incredibly fluid experience and works wonderful. Uh, if we go ahead and check out the UI first here, you have some simple navigation tools right here, including back, forward, refresh, and home page. The home page is different for every one of these tabs. Like we said when we introduced or read the about of this application, every single one of these tabs is kind of like its own separate web browser. So there's not really going to be any intermingling between the tabs. If you're logged into a Google account on one tab, it's not going to automatically log you into that same Google account in a different tab. And you can kind of see what I have set up here. I have my canvas. It's not logged in right now. Uh, I have Plausible, which this is that analytic tool, really easy to access and see exactly what's going on on whatever website I have it linked to. And then if I go down, I was playing around on Discord on here and it works very well. The one thing I will note with uh, Discord on here is that uh, voice and audio won't work. So it's gonna have to be a strictly chat type thing for this. But that's one of the uh, only limitations that I've noticed thus far. And actually adding new web apps is really easy. All you do is click this little button that looks like you're gonna open a new tab, which that's kind of what you're doing here. And let's say I wanted to add form.techhut.tv. And one thing to keep note of, this uh, bar right here is not a search bar, so you have to type in the URLs specifically. Hit enter to travel to them, and this is the Tech Hut forms right here. And to go ahead and add it as a web app, all I would need to do is click on done. Here we have some additional settings. You could change the name, home page, user agent, hit add, and then it's going to be added right here. The website's in beta, so there's gonna be a couple issues here that's on my end, not the end of this actual web app. Additionally, they have a little hamburger menu here, so you can actually change the position of the tabs that you see as a sidebar. So I could throw those on top if I wanted to, and then I can navigate to my different applications through here or you could put it really anywhere else, right, bottom, left, wherever you want. And then from there, we have some keyboard shortcuts. So if you're a fan of key bindings, you could go ahead and start getting familiar with some of these. And there are some trackpad controls as well. And then of course, if we go into about, it's gonna give you the information about the application. Currently on version 1.3.1. .1. And again, it's powered by that WebKit GTK. And wonderfully enough, it is licensed under the GNU General Public license and that's basically it just a nice little web app that is definitely worth checking out especially if you're somebody who has uh, different social media accounts on the same service that's probably the primary use case that i can see for this 
and just overall it looks absolutely beautiful on the GNOME desktop. Uh, if you plan on using this and you have a decent use case for it, please let us know down in the comments below. With all that said, I would like to thank the Techie and Techie Plus members. First, we have some producer level supporters, including Mitchell Valentino, Phil Mac, Kyle, and Timo Anthony. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. And again, thank you to all the other Techie and Techie Plus members. With all that said, I do hope you all have an absolutely beautiful day, and goodbye.